In the beginning, ink still wet, primeval paths positioned set, creation's canopy clipped in place, potential fixed in time and space. What force began that first beginning? What set the world and galaxies spinning? What weight subsists beneath all things? What source from which this splendor springs? It seems to me you have four choices, four competing primal voices. Something calls the tune above. Is it nothing, chaos, power, or love? Now, nothing is a strange headwaters, as old King Lear said to his daughters. Nothing will come of nothing, and yet, some think non-entities begin. And yes, their nothing's an ancient rumbling, a giant cavernous black old something. But if in every sense it's naught, then life's a miracle, absurdly wrought. And all our days are spent suspended over the abyss to which we're tended, laughing, learning, living, loving, but pushed beneath it's really nothing. Life's a breath and soon exhale, the darkness winds, the light has failed. We burn our lamps, but night is crowned, blackness born to blackness bound. And so to chaos some will turn, primeval punch-ups their concern, bangs and blasts and battles war, these begot us in days of yore. The myths of old saw earth deriving from the deities conniving, warring gods began the trouble, we are just the cosmic rubble. Still today we have our clashes, life emerges from the ashes of stars exploding, species striving, the weak devoured, the strong surviving. And if we live with this regime, then selfishness must reign supreme. It's dog eat dog, you get ahead until you're toppled and then you're dead. But maybe you think life is more than endless struggle, pointless war. Perhaps above the chaos towers, some all-controlling cosmic powers. And in the beginning, there was the law of gravity or something more. This power reigns, all must succumb and dance to its relentless drum. And then the faith head comes along, essentially sings the same old song. There is a sovereign, we are awed. Let's call this boundless power God. And in the beginning, imagine a throne. Power personified and all alone. No back and forth, no give and take. This self exists for self's own sake. If such a God decrees creation, Creatures have but one relation. God's a cosmic chairman Mao. Defined by might, his world must bow. And so religious folk are sated, rendering reverence unabated. From nothing and from chaos saved, yet under power now enslaved. Is this how Christians see the matter? Got a narcissist to flatter? If this were true, all hope's bereft. But there is another option left. We read in Genesis and John a life of love before the dawn. A father, son and spirit bound in self poured out and losing found. In back and forth these three delight and share one life of radiant light. Behold this deferential dance, this ancient and profound romance. This is the bubbling brook that burst the banks of endless love, immersed to flood all else with light and longing, soak our souls with true belonging. This the pulse of all creation, this the primitive vibration, this all nature's explanation. In the beginning, adoration. Where are the well-adjusted minds? Which faith to deepest truth aligns? For all will hold that love is first, but in their creed the ranks reversed. We live as though self-giving's best, we deem a life of service blessed, we spend our lives as loved and lover, and then conclude it's all a cover? For if nothing's our source, then life's absurd. If chaos, then war's the final word. If power, then all of us are slaves. And yet it's love the whole world craves. So what's our beginning? Our answers count, both now and next spring from this fount. Which sovereign ruler reigns above? Nothing, chaos, power, or love? <laughs>